Patricia Tannis, Doll Scientific Advisor, Day One on Planet Pandora. I have been assigned to this sector by my superiors to find evidence of abandoned alien technology, similar to that found by our competitor, the Atlas Company, in the ruins on Prometheus. Technology that many believe made them the superpower they are now. This kind of find seems astronomically improbable on a rock like this, but my benefactors believe in it enough to waste my considerable talents. I've only been here for three hours, and I already believe this planet will be the death of me. Scientists do not chase myths and legends. Day 481. It's true. It's all true. My program did it. Program. Pro program. <laughs> I'm now certain that the vault is here, and that the symbol has something to do with opening it. I've checked and triple-checked my findings, and it all seems to make sense. It looks like there are extreme measures to keep the vault secure, but that it can be opened every 200 years. The vault's contents must be extremely valuable, maybe better than the Atlas tech. But I cannot reveal this information to anyone just yet. If I'm wrong, I'm done. And if I'm right, the suits will claim it. I must find the vault myself. Find, find. <laughs> Day 493. Doll Corporation just shut down their mining operations here on Pandora. I think they are insane. Or that is, whoever is making the decision is insane. Iridium mining on this planet has been hugely lucrative for Doll and has funded my project. It's been especially profitable given how low their labor costs are. I wonder what Doll will do with all the unpaid convicts they've been using to work their minds. I wonder if any of them will be my friend. What? Why are you always so jealous of me getting new friends? I'm turning you off. Day 578. I haven't slept in three days. I just ate six bugs in alphabetical order, starting with Caribus aronitans and ending with a dessert of Tetrix antelata. The information I've uncovered from my automated deciphering has me closing in on the location of this event, an event I believe to be the opening of the vault. Echo Recorder and I are not together anymore. But I wish him the best, and we remain friends, so that I can keep recording these messages. He agreed, because we need to complete what we set out to do, and document the intensive search for the mythic vault. It's not a myth. It's real. Day 616. Sometimes I wish I had never been given this assignment, and never come to Pandora. Dahl has asked me to leave. The transmission said it's time to go. Everyone has left, except the criminals who they've let loose. They won't be my friends. So I had decided to return to leave as Dahl has ordered, but then I found something. I think it is the key to the vault. It proves the vault is real, and that it's here on Pandora and that it can be mine. I also learned that, by my calculations, we are near the 200th anniversary of the last vault opening. Within half a year, approximately. If I leave now, I will never make it back in time. I will stay. Maybe one of the convicts will be my friend. Day 653. Today is my birthday. I've been alone for an incalculable amount of time. A convict accidentally crossed over into my encampment this morning, and I allowed him to look about before I shot him in the back several times. I was immediately filled with regret upon doing this, because the human contact, no matter how awkward, would have been nice. I've decided his name was Leslie, and he had a troubled childhood where people would make fun of him for having a girl's name. And the torment eventually led Leslie to a life of crime and debauchery. There was a tattoo on his body that looked not unlike the name Patricia. I might have imagined the tattoo. The experience compelled me to move the vault key fragment I found so that it can be safe. It's extremely important, so I've given it to the man known as Crazy Earl. He's not crazy. He doesn't like people. The vault key will be safe with him. I also gave him my underwear. Day 718. I woke up outside the camp today. I don't know how I got outside, but I seem to have overcome my inability to leave. This will be my last recording before I scatter the echo recordings as far as I can. My echo recorder has clearly gone crazy, and if I'm not careful, I too might go insane. I will come back and resume my research when I have rid myself of this two-timing recorder. This is Patricia Tannis, signing out. Day 43 on Pandora. At least I believe it to be the 43rd day I've been here. The moonlight cycles are difficult to get used to. The planet rotation day is over 90 hours long. The people that inhabit this salted dust ball are as ignorant as I've seen in this galaxy. 
When I attach scientific inquiry to something like the vault, I'm greeted with silly nursery rhymes and slack-jawed soliloquy about a man who knew a man who knew a man. They drift off into a stupor where I half imagine they're drunk or brain-damaged and are unaware of my continued presence. If I believed in hell, I would contemplate how it compared to Pandora. Ironically, such a belief would align me with these Neanderthals. Day 684. I seem to be unable to leave camp anymore. I've collected all of the information I need to be able to find the vault, but I'm overcome with terror and instantaneous paralyzation upon any attempt to leave my confines. I believe I have some kind of psychosis. Whatever it is, I'm a prisoner of my own jail, and I will not be able to find anything without help from an outside party. I will put out feelers to see if I can get someone on this rock to grant me assistance. Perhaps I can send an off-world message to attract some vault hunters. Some company would be lovely. Day 119. I sat in the shower in tears for just under an hour. This is interesting, considering we haven't had water for days. I equate my ever-decreasing sanity with that of the population of my dig site. With the investigation of the symbols and glowing patterns at the site, we finally unearthed arguably certifiable proof of the existence of alien life having been here on Pandora. But this celebration was lonely, as I only have two colleagues left. And I'm not too fond of the fat girl, Shimei. I've been told that scientific discovery requires sacrifice, but I never understood what they meant until now. Day 172. The fat girl, Shimei, was crushed under an alien ruin that collapsed today. She didn't die right away and begged me to put her out of her misery as she choked on various fluids and bile. I hesitated because she was the last one alive that wasn't me. As she was choking and coughing and dying, I tried to enjoy the interaction, which I imagined to be a conversation, as I knew it was the last I would have for a while. I finally got around to smothering her so that I could continue my research. I could tell that she regretted the decision. The Skags have been waiting for this meal for a while. They will not go hungry tonight. This is the 76th day. I was woken up, hoping I was having a reoccurring nightmare. We spent more than 36 hours earlier today relocating our campsite closer to our dig site, only to be ambushed by a local wildlife that's hungry coming out of hibernation. Half of my staff was eaten alive or killed by Skags. I survived by hiding under a colleague of mine who was being devoured on top of me. His name was Carl. My emotions are deadened, and I grieve for none of them. In point of fact, the only emotion I felt was that of joy. I felt joy because his chair was always more comfortable than mine. I took his chair, and then I noticed the emissive glow on the rocks at the dig site. Patricia Tannis, Chief Scientific Advisor, Dahl Corporation, Day 224. The only conversations I have anymore are with this echo recorder. I've developed a relationship with it. Some cycles I sleep with it, and others I make it stay outside of my tent. My waning ability to discern logic from insanity is becoming cumbersome. I've been translating Aridan writings. In between arguing with the recorder, you went off for a few hours during my last sleep cycle, I heard you sneak out. If I were to pontificate, I would infer that the Aridan writings show a class-based society that was quite capable of both leadership and of armed conflict. As I work, I spend the majority of days having conversations with people that are not there. Two days ago, I explained to my mother how the translation program I was writing would greatly help me understand exactly what all this Aridan text I've been attempting to decipher actually means. My mother has been dead for 16 years. She was never actually interested in science to begin with. I'm unsure if I'm quite to the point of no return, but my stubbornness, which I got from her in the first place, will keep me here putting up with her until I find exactly where the vault is, or until I drive myself so far off the edge I do not remember why I was doing this in the first place. Day 457. This is exciting. I think I might strip naked and run around to celebrate, but I'll, I'll do it during the dim cycle for fear of prying eyes. Before overloading and melting four of my computer's 13 qubit operators, my program was able to decipher quite a bit more than I had been able to understand before. 
It will take a few days to fix, but I was able to find many repeated instances of an event that takes place every 200 years. It's repeated many times with a symbol that looks not unlike a circle with an upside-down V in it. It's possible that this is the vault. And something about the vault happens every 200 years. Tonight, for dinner, I will have eggs. These dirty criminals control access to the trash coast. Dispose of what you will so you can investigate further. You killed the ugly one. I asked Pierce to give you Class A clearance, and she declined, so I stole her robotic arm until she'd give it to you. You should have little trouble moving forward. Are we friends? I think I would enjoy that. Unbelievable. What are the odds of you finding me here? What are you looking at? I'm not a traitor, you idiot. I'm a hostage. Quickly, you must get the Echo Network back on and open the gate so we can both get out of here. I am talking. The lady with scars where her face should be believes that you and I are looking for the same thing. You should come to me now so I can see the artifact you have recovered. I am Patricia Tannis, former director of the Exoscience and Alien Technology Research Team, until they were all horribly eaten or killed. My studies have slowed to a crawl given these newly limited resources, but I am positive the vault exists and I can find it. Probably. Vault hunters should venture my way if given the chance. Sometimes I eat bugs. No, Helena, of course I haven't yet seen the vault. But based on my investigation of the ruins, I know that it's here. If I could just get some more equipment and support from one of the larger corporations, I'm certain I'll discover it. I'm so close. Helena, I could use your support with this. Unbelievable. What are the odds of you finding me here? What are you looking at? I'm not a traitor, you idiot. I'm a hostage. Quickly, you must get the Echo Network back on. Go! Flint was an employee of mine, but I fired him for gross incompetence. When he left, he stole a fragment from me and punched my dog, which was the fourth and final part of the key. The fragment is part of the key, not my dog. My instrument readings suggest we may find another vault key fragment at the Trash Coast. Unfortunately, in your way are the inhabitants of Janistown, who smell of alcohol and ignorance. They like science as much as I like the idea of music. Music is wasteful and stupid. Crimson Lance. They hired bandits to stop all road traffic, then killed them rather than pay up. As a business strategy, murdering their employees will see diminishing returns. Listen to this, mud dwellers. Skipping all the details that would confuse the lot of you, I have concluded that the vault is more than likely genuine. In addition to that fact, which has probably burned a hole in your brain, the vault can only be opened once every two centuries, and that time is about to arrive. The vault key was reassembled, and it reactivated an ancient Aridan security system. In my research, I uncovered information about these so-called guardians, but I had no idea they were still functioning and so insect-like. The Lance have been trying to hold them off, but the guardians are turning them into paste. Have you managed to open access to the trash coast yet? If not, you are slow and should go faster. My instrument readings are fluctuating, and I get the feeling we're running out of time, because you're slow and should go faster. And on that last day of my childhood, I experimented with the girl next door. We called it playing doctor, but the medicine was beyond egregious. Oh, dear. The Echo Network came back on, didn't it? Well, they forgot to confiscate my communicator. Good work. Crap. Pierce was explaining something to me, but I wasn't really listening to her droning British warbling. I did catch that you have gathered another of my vault key fragments. Whatever else you're doing is unimportant, and I don't want to wait, so bring it by immediately. A while ago, I found a vault key artifact and gave it to Crazy Earl. He also has my underwear. He reminds me of a bearded turtle. You should go to the bearded turtle and get the artifact so you can bring it back. Yes, you should. If the Lance are taking an interest in what we're doing, then things just got a lot more dangerous. For you, not for me. I'm safe and sipping a nice chamomile. They know the legend of the vault, too, and it is unlikely they will simply let you walk in unopposed and cheerful. Also, I have butter cookies. I regret not trusting you, but we've no time for who betrayed whom. Steele has taken the key and is already on her way to the vault. Hey, for me, take the bitch down. If you still have the vault key, please bring it to me. I will do my best to make it worth your while. It won't work again for hundreds of years, but I must ensure the key does not fall into the wrong hands. I wasted my whole life looking for the vault, and you spent but a few days to find it. Then again, it could have been me getting impaled like that crazy albino bitch. 
I'll just have to find something else to do with myself. What is it Fat Marcus says? There is always opportunity. I was able to escape on my own using my sexual charms on the lance. I am making my way back to the campsite, with the regret I never got to see the vault. Perhaps you could leave me alone? I guess you're leaving. We'll speak again. We should talk again. Keep your eyes open. You are lumbering and bothersome. Perhaps you could leave me alone. You are lumbering and bothersome. Perhaps you could be somewhere that isn't, you know, here. Are you a lummox? Move on, please. Are you a lummox? Move on, please. Perhaps you could be somewhere that isn't, you know, here. Shouldn't you jog onward? I'm in the middle of something important. Shouldn't you jog onward? I'm in the middle of something important. This can wait until later. Please vacate. Do you need something? This can wait until later. Please vacate. I'm busy with my own work. I'm busy with my own work. I don't really have time now. I don't really have time now. I used to be a galaxy class scientist. I've been reduced to a babbling hang-on. I used to be a galaxy-class scientist. I've been reduced to a babbling hang-on. My talents were squandered on this rock. My talents were squandered on this rock. You can be of service to my talent. You can be of service to my talent. Of course no one believes the vault is here. Nursery rhymes are written by buffoons. Of course no one believes the vault is here. Nursery rhymes are written by buffoons. You're a strange specimen. Have we met? Did I tell you where the vault is? I believe I know where the vault is. I told myself where. You're a strange specimen. Have we met? Did I tell you where the vault is? I'm easy to discount. Hundreds of days in a hole and watching everyone around you get murdered will do that to you. I believe I know where the vault is. I told myself where. I am easy to discount. Hundreds of days in a hole and watching everyone around you get murdered will do that to you. At this point, I've begun to doubt myself. You're from off planet. You smell oddly. Bandits are like children. Wait, not children. I was going to say we should bury them in shallow graves. I no longer have proof of the vault. I scattered it. I don't want anyone else to find it anyway. At this point, I've begun to doubt myself. I no longer have my proof of the vault. I scattered it. I don't want anyone else to find it anyway. My work would go so much smoother if I wasn't always distracted by surviving. Every creature here is more dangerous than the last. This world is capable of corrupting anything or anyone. Maybe if we all had kites to fly, we'd be nicer. This planet is dying, and we're all just here for the show. Anything you can do to make my life easier is adequate. I've heard stories about the Crimson Lance. Bloody and corrupt, they are not what they appear. I gave up on asking for assistance or aid. The Crimson Lance will be the death of all of us. The Crimson Lance remind me of walking cans. I don't see people anymore, really, just shapes and objects. I knew it! I knew I would find the vault! I was right! Everyone is acting so surprised about the vault, known for a while. No one has come out to talk to me. It's all just a myth still. The science will lead us. Trash cans with automatic weapons. This is discovery, not war. We deserve the pain we bring ourselves from our staggering idiocy. Odd that the Lance would so openly display their moral corruption. On a rock where people are not easily trusted, they are making it known that they should not be. Morally corrupt Atlas twats, do what you will. You want to know about the Lance? Corporate greed meets a contracted army. They will take whatever they please. I have more things you could accomplish in my stead. I have something you should do for me. I have something you should do for me. I have more things you could accomplish in my stead. I need your help with something. I need your help with something. I'm not concerned with other obstacles in your way. I will pay you to do what I need instead. I'm not concerned with other obstacles in your way. I will pay you to do what I need instead. About time you showed up. I need this done right away. About time you showed up. I need this done right away. What took you so long? This is urgent. I need this done now. So what took you so long? This is urgent. I need this done now. Get to work. Get to work. You can leave and go do it now. You can leave and go do it now. This is the part where you leave. This is the part where you leave. Accomplish your objective and return. I trust you won't take too long. Accomplish your objective and return. I trust you won't take too long. Haven't finished that job yet? Better get to it. Haven't finished that job yet? Better get to it. I wouldn't have given you the task if it wasn't really important. I wouldn't have given you the task if it wasn't really important. Is there a reason you returned without completing your mission? I am not a conversationalist. Maybe my instructions weren't clear. Don't come back until you're done. Is there a reason you returned without completing your mission? I am not a conversationalist. Maybe my instructions weren't clear. Don't come back until you're done. You haven't finished it yet? You haven't finished it yet? Finish your task. Finish your task? Adequate. Adequate. That will work. 
That will work. I guess thanks is the correct word. I guess thanks is the correct word. You have succeeded with satisfactory results. Yes, yes. You have succeeded with the satisfactory results. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Quite. Agreed. Quite. Greetings. Agreed. Affirmative. Affirmative. No. No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I think not. I think not. Negative. No. No. Welcome to my camp, or what's left of it. Negative. Let's hope you're more useful than the last one I hired. What can you do for me? Hello there, good friend. What do you need, an invitation? Come here. Do these teeth make my... My gums look fat. Over here! I need your help with something. Shh! Act like you don't know me. There are spies everywhere. Did you get lost already? Hey! Over here! Yoo-hoo! Yes, you! What part of Secret Lab don't you understand? Get out of here! More parts! I must have more parts! I can't finish the toaster setting without those parts! Go! 